The test for male factor infertility is a routine semen analysis where we would get a semen sample from the patient and we measure certain parameters that are laid out by the World Health Organization. So we start with the, the volume of the sample and the pH of it, which can give us an idea of um, what kind of things are being added to the ejaculate from different organs. We then measure the concentration, motility and morphology of the sample. So the morphology is the, sh the shape of the sperm cells and we look for ideal sperm cell shape. Um, so it has to be around, above around 4% normal sperm cells um, in a human sample. We also measure for anti-sperm antibodies in the sample, um, which can cause sort of uh, clumping of the cells and impaired motility. Um, so we take all of that information and from there we can decide the best course of action and the best treatment that would give a patient the best chance of a successful pregnancy. The most common treatment route for male factor infertility, if they have impaired um, concentration or motility in their sample, would be ICSI treatment, which is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Essentially, we inject a single sperm cell into a single egg and the sperm cell can be selected based on its motility and good morphology so it allows you to get around poor, a poor sperm cell sample and just pick out cells one by one that look good to the embryologist and inject those directly into the egg.